Hi everybody, this is You're Not Your Khakis here, back again with a, a couple more courses to show you that I've been making. Uh, this first one is called Fast Castle version 1.0, because this is one that I started making with some friends over, where we passed around the gamepad and each took 10 minutes to build something. Um, and it's called 1.0 uh, version, because I went back after our uh, hanging out together and I tweaked it a little bit. Uh, so I added some extra stuff to the course. Um, so I'm going to show you what kind of the course is all about here, and uh, hope you guys like it. And uh, at first there's a tough little jump to make, as you can see. And there's a, a couple paths that you can take in this level. One of which is a hidden path, right there. Um, or you can go right, you can go up or down, or whatever. Let me show you the hidden path first. So if you come up here... You can take this little hidden doorway, and there you go. Hit the P-switch, and make your way across. Fall down, you land right on the end, killing the Bowsers. That's the easiest way to do it, of course. But I also want to show you what happens if you try to actually explore not knowing about that. Let's play it again. The uh, course ID will be there for you if you want to try this out for yourself. Let's try down here first. So that's one way you can take. Let's take the bottom path here. Uh, I tried to make this level very reminiscent of the original Super Mario Bros. castles. So there's a lot of fire sticks and hazards relating to the fire and fireballs and things of that nature. That one little fireball, it, uh, it always gets me. And I haven't played this uh, course in a while, so I'm a bit rusty. So yeah, you can really mess yourself up if you just go haphazard into the level. Let me take it a little more slowly to make sure that I don't keep dying. Sound good? Alright, we'll take this bottom path. So much fire, so much fire. It's because there's two Bowsers. <laughs> Sometimes that little uh, ball and chain enemy here will uh, have a little more RNG than I want, and he'll get me. Why don't we try taking the high path here? Okay. So assuming we got here, there's the there's the bottom. All right. And here's a little 
cool boss music. Oh, and I didn't even see that guy. So yeah. You can die pretty easily here. As you can tell. Uh, so the bottom path is a little tricky. I mean, it's possible. I put in ways to, uh, to jump over everything. But overall, not your most ideal choice. Uh, let's try the middle path next. Or not. <laughs> I apologize for all the deaths. But, you know, I'm a bit rusty and I haven't played this level in quite a while, so... Maybe this will be a good, uh, I don't know, perspective of what it's like to play it. So I kind of forgot all the ins and outs of the level. I haven't really messed with it. And I meant to go up there. But of course, I messed it up. Give me a moment. We'll get back. Maybe I made it too difficult. I don't know. There's a lot going on. Well, that's nice. I was hoping I'd be able to just play the whole level for you, but uh, I'm not doing as well as I was hoping. So if we take the middle path, let's do this. So we've got some stuff going on here. Lots of these guys. Lots of things to worry about. This... oops. Well, before he uh, changed that block, it was a star. <laughs> Alright, well anyway. That's all I can really show you at this point, so I hope you enjoyed it, and...